We're here to do this video on how to do the sublimation pins. We printed out our design. I'm going to put down the line, since this is our suggestion, is to roll the pin up. Put down this side. The dimensions are one point four by 4.2, I believe, for this pin. So we got it printed out the size we need it. Let's cut down the side. This is how you take the pin apart. You will un you will twi twist this bottom part. Some of them be a little sticky, so I would um, look like you're stuck, not sticky, but stuck in there. So um, what I suggest is wiping it off with something and then trying to twist it again. So, and it'll loosen it up. And in fact, we might just um, show everybody how to do this. So you take the bottom piece off, this part comes out. We have those two pieces there. And then this part pulls out. So, you're going to pull out this whole piece here. The whole piece will pull out. All right. These pins are um, poly coated and they're pretty much just like the um, tumblers that we do. So, I'm going to put this in the convection oven. It's going to be one or 380 for five minutes, just like I do with my tumblers when I put them in the convection oven. Remember these times, these Timson times are only suggestions that flossy blanks, um, it works for us. So here's the pen. We are going to take it and put it on the design. You can see two. Uh, make sure you have your heat tape. So it depends on which way you want to put it on here. Um, which way you want your design to be, which part of the pin you want your design to be showing the most on. So I am going to start here since my logo is up here, it's a little dark. So um, you probably, you'll be able to see it on the pin because it's white or whatever, but right now you really can't see it on there. I mean, it's, it's there, but it's really light and, and also because it's small. So you take the pin, you line it up on your transfer. Oh, sorry, you know what? Let me cut this top off because you don't even need this part. You don't want this part actually. So we're gonna be wrapping this whole thing up. So you're gonna take your pin, you're gonna place it wherever you feel like. So since my logo is up here and it's in a small area, since I'm submitting the whole pin, I'm gonna start with it like this because I want that part to be on the part where it's far enough down. So Take it, and you're going to roll as tight as you can. You're going to roll, 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 roll. Make it tight. Okay. You're going to roll your whole pin. Use some tape. Around now, the reason why we um, we have tried this out already on one pin, the reason why we say roll the whole um, tape is because this line where the where the paper was that you can see on the um, print when we just did it. It printed out um, fine on the pin, but it, you can see that line where the paper was where the paper ended. So I just suggest doing the whole thing around. So you're gonna tape all the way down if you would do any other thing. Past this in a video. I'm just gonna you can use any uh, sublimation paper, shouldn't matter. Make sure you put that on there tight. So, it's on there pretty tight. This end of the paper, I would suggest cutting off any extra. Chop it off like that. Or you can just use scissors because scissors probably would have worked just fine too. <laughs> I just did all that extraness. 
or nothing. Yeah, I suggest taking all that off if you have extra on the side. So what I would suggest is cutting down to the size, the size of your print too. So you have that. These also come with shrink wrap. So you will get a shrink wrap with each pen you purchase. And these actually will be sold in four packs. And I believe the four pack is um, $18.50 for the four pack of these. And it comes with the um, shrink wrap. And these also can be used as a phone holder. So I have the picture of that up on the website of how that looks. So you push it in there, take your heat gun to close it up. Let's take out the way. And you just fry the heat. Of course it's gonna make sure you get it really tight. Super tight. I would make sure this is really tight. And you see, I'm using really dark colors, so I actually want it to be tight enough where it is not going to be, so it won't be any type of looseness or ghosting or anything because I'm using black. So that's on there pretty tight. Now we're going to go take this over to the oven. And um, once we put it in there, it's going to be in there for five minutes. And you probably possibly could have used a heat gun with this. I'm not sure. I mean, I just put the last one in the oven and it came out perfect. So, yeah. go ahead and take this over to the convection oven. And the convection oven is already set for 380. And I'm going to do five minutes. So, all we do is take the pan, open the doors, sit the pan in there. And I like it going to the back because I feel like the back gets more heat than anything. I don't think it needs to be any special position, but, and then I turn my timer on. Five minutes. 